Bonjour, I am Gabriel Gatte. You are watching City Search. Secret TV. Rest your head on my chest. Close your eyes. We are not world weary tonight. Today is the opening day of Melbourne Food and Wine Festival, and we're here at the world's longest lunch, which we're celebrating in front of the Carlton Gardens. This year's theme is a French theme, so we're going to see roving performers. We've got Gabrielle Gatte has designed a beautifully French menu. Well, the, the world's uh, longest lunch is a celebration of life, really. It's a celebration of people sitting together at a long table, sharing a meal, having a good time together. And, and this year, I've been honoured to be asked to, uh, to organise a menu for it. Being French, of course, it has got to be uh, a French menu. And I think Australia and, and France have a lot in common. So I have uh, put together a menu that is more Mediterranean or Provençal than anything else because I think there's a link between France and Australia. Like I've always loved food. Um, I'm one of those people that wake up in the morning and think what I'm going to have for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, not a lot of people can do that, I've, I've realised. Um, I know my partner every time I talk to them about, you know, oh, what do you want for dinner? And they'll be saying, um, I'm still eating my breakfast. Uh, <laughs> as opposed to me, right, we need to do this for dinner, we need to do this for the next day for breakfast. I love the notion of the Melbourne Food and Wine Festival opening up different areas for food and wine. And I'm on, like this, this time next week, I'm going to be at a funeral parlour in Williamstown eating funeral jellies made by Bombas and Pa. I mean, when how, how wonderfully oblique is it where you go from one side to the other? Break it down into three kitchens, one at each end and one in the middle. And we basically work out you know, a third on each kitchen, so it's actually... It's three functions um, in one for 333. We do this sort of thing for a living. This is what we do at Peter Rollins. So you know, it's sort of the numbers don't worry us. This week we've got a number of events across the state, in fact 250 events across the state of Victoria. We've got the Edible Garden, which is a beautiful urban space in the middle of the city square. We've got Foodie Films, which is turning Federation Square into a nighttime theatre with free flicks during the entire space of the festival. And then there's a number of events in Dandenong, a celebration of an Afghan wedding. And then we head across to the west with a celebration of West African, Vietnamese, um, all the communities come together for Melbourne Food and Wine Festival. Because there are 250 events across the festival, people dip in and do different things in different yeah. areas. And you can kind of make up your own mini festival from that amazing array of different, yeah. different, different, different choices. I'm with Kerry and Kerry is one of the many, many people enjoying lunch at the world's longest lunch. Kerry, how's it going so far? Oh, I'm loving it, thank yeah. you. It is my first world's longest lunch um, and so far it's been very exciting. This is Melbourne, this is terrific, I think it's great. <laughs> very good idea. You've even put up the Melbourne weather, I'm very impressed. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I needed the umbrella this morning and now I need the sunnies now, so that's <laughs> Melbourne for you. What do you think of the concept? Isn't this fantastic? I think the concept's amazing, but it's just really nice that it's here. I think it's a nice setting for a long lunch. Do you come here every year? Metlink have been part of the Food and Wine Festival for two years wow. now. So wow. this is my first time at the longest lunch. I come every year and have been for about the last 10 or 12 years. I come with the whole group of us over here. For, um, as part of the uh, Food and Wine Festival um, this year, Metlink uh, has organised a Metlink edible garden down at City Square. I've been doing it for the last 15 years. Um, I think this is my fourth longest lunch. Um, but it changes every year and working with guest chefs is great. You know, Gabriel, different ideas. Um, it's great to work with, yeah. And look at this, what you were saying before, like, uh, look how long this lunch is. Yeah, look, look I, I think... I think that's always the thing that freaks me out when I come here, is I don't know, you think that a, a table for 1,500 people is going to be, you know, just that sort of like, I mean, that looks like 1,500 people, doesn't it? I mean, that's a, that is a very long table that way. And then, then you kind of spin around and you come all the way over here. <laughs> and you got the same thing again, that is insane. As as what I have found on
Secret TV.